you have any idea what this is? Do you know what you're looking at? That's right. It's a spooky ghost. <laughs> Finally, Bugsy's dream of capturing people, stabbing them with little insectoid stabber, filling them up with insectoid genes, and grafting on horrific insectoid limbs can come true. Today's the day at long last. We finally get the hive. Not just kidnapping people and stabbing them and uh, putting them into a hive mind, sort of, where they share mood, but, you know, they've still got a lot of individuality. None of that. Now it's time we embrace it with both... Mandibles? Both insect hands. What the hell do you call insect hands? Legs? Well, there is a slight issue. The whole hive mind pheromone thing isn't quite perfect. We still have to manually change their mind. Like boring, regular humans. We have to put them in a prison and convince them that we have the right idea. Which fairly famously has not worked out, given that it took the best part of three and a half years to convert Sidonia over. That's where my good friend Uncle Boris comes in. From the sick, twisted mind of the incredible chicken plucker, who has bought us some real experiences. Some real real world experiences, for sure. We now have Uncle Boris's brainwashing chair. We can tie prisoners up and convince them that Bugsy is a way of life. And you might be thinking, oh, that's a little overpowered. That's a little ridiculous. You can't just put someone in a chair and have them be convinced that Bugsy is the way forward. Oh, my friends, I've got a whole Discord proving otherwise. Now we can finally do it. My little organic Borg hive, the thing I've wanted from the very start. The best part is, despite the many times I said it during yesterday's episode, we don't even need steel. We had loads of it. I'm, I was I was very tired yesterday. Also worth mentioning, very fast, I did do a little tweaking behind the scenes to make mechanoids less frequent, although insects and mechanoids are mortal enemies and hate one another. I was getting a little bit bored of constant mechanoid raids without new people to recruit and experiment on and bring into the colony. I need genetic material, and I don't really care about fighting centipedes. Sure, they're challenging, but... It's not really interesting, is it? We'll still get mechanoids, of course, but now we'll get plenty of other equally balanced raids, but with actual people. People and faces we can torture. We have an enormous amount to do today, so I think let's get to work. First things first, then. I want to turn this room here half into a hospital where we can graft the mutagens onto our brand new recruits, and then I want to turn half of it into... Uh, I, I, I guess just half of it into the room where we're going to extract people's genes. So before I blast all the steel away on pollution generators, which insects, as we've discussed many times, love in base game RimWorld, I think I'll turn half the room with degraded floors. Oh, no, let's just go full st uh, let's go full sterile tiles. I mean, uh, the gene extractors don't get a benefit from it being sterile tiles, right? We might as well have it. We might as well make this nice, and then we can paint it bug colors. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't really know what bug colors are. This is what I've been waiting for for so long. And look at this. We're getting some biomass in. Our Nutrifungus is basically fully grown. We've got to wait a little bit longer to get the rest of it. All of that is going to allow us to hopefully replace the final part of the floors, get it converted over to this hive material instead. I don't remember if I bought this up or I ended up editing it out after yesterday's fairly manic episode. But there was a comment in the comment section from someone who suggested that we cover the entire outside of the hive in hive material. And I really, really like that. Turn turn the mountain into just an extension of Bugsy. Ooh! Right, now I did forget about that. Oh, God, how close was it? Oh, it wasn't that bad at all. 91%, well, we don't know how far the infection spread, of course. 91% immunity. So we did have a lot of infections after that wasp-based raid yesterday, where sadly we lost one of our key characters, Luxembourg. Everybody's fine now? Uh, not quite. Bone still has an infection, but is actually doing okay. You should be fine unless all of our doctors spontaneously die. Not that something like that might happen. No, no, no. I'm trading a, a lost bug for a brand new wasp friend. A brand new wasp friend who could be a good way to test out the brainwashing chair. I wonder where that is. I wonder if we need some research for it. Brainwashing chair. Brainwashing chair. Complex furniture. Tube tube television. Is that it? Uh, there it is. Brainwash chair. Produce tube televisions for recreational washing. I don't think that's quite the correct description there, game. Uh, does it count as a recreational activity? Where are you, brainwashing chair? I'll find it, don't worry. Oh, research required. Multi-analyzer, tube television, and complex furniture. Wow. Okay, I actually have a legitimate reason to try and get a multi-analyzer now. Damn it. I mean, it's worth it to convince them about the glory of Bugsy, of course. Do you love lamp? Well, you're going to, little gloom. Remember Luxembourg? Poor sweet Luxembourg. Do we actually have a good crafter? Bugo drink? Okay, I guess I'll convert Bugo over to our crafter then. We really don't have a choice. Do we have a good chef? Not really. <laughs> um, Bones will move over to Sheffery. Oh, man, there is not going to be enough time for all of this. Um, I guess I could put Bugger on cooking as well. And then maybe we'll take you off of harvesting and growing. Oh, God. 
Wow, this is this is gonna get annoying. Uh, we just need new recruits. What we need is some good, well-skilled recruits. You're good at cooking, B person. I guess we'll start converting you then. Pyromaniac, psychopath, bloodlust, beautiful. Oh, you'll fit right in around here. 11 cooking, single passion animal, seven double passion, construction three, uh, double passion as well. You know what you haven't gotten yet? That's right, the little stab from your brand new best friend, Bugsy. Mm -mm. Oh, oh my God, you almost killed him. Oh, shot it right through the abdomen. Oh, right, let's get you uh, tended up. Do we have a doctor? Uh, shit. We don't have a good doctor anymore. Um, Sidonia, I suppose. Congratulations. Oh, he's got twice as many antenna. Oh, no. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, this seems like a great party, all right? I love the way everyone's screaming at one another. That's good. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh, God, the infection is catching up pretty bloody fast. There's only a few percent in it now. It's a torso. I can't really amputate that. We lack the medical skill to do so, I'm afraid. Bloody hell, this is going to be very close, isn't it? Less than three percent in it. You should be fine. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe just come and come on standby a second. Just in case we've got to catch this at the final. Uh, uh, oh God. Okay. Is it worth doing that final 10? It's not going to make any difference, is it? 99.1%. We'll take the gamble. You'll be fine. There you go. Good as new. Definitely not close at all. 98%. Oh, you had a couple of percent left. I do love the nest walls. I don't love the fact you can see the floor below the nest walls. That's an aesthetics nightmare. We are going to have to swap these out, aren't we? Beeswax walls. Oh, that could look quite good. And we won't see the, the horrible mounting gaps. We can't place floor under it as well. I've already tried. That's... It's very annoying. It's a horrible, a horrible situation. Big research goals then once they've finished harvesting the mushrooms. I guess we've got to go multi-analyzer for the brainwashing. Deep drills to be able to continuously get some resources into this bloody base. And then after that, I like the other bioengineering research because we do have something that adds slightly larger gene banks. That was the problem with the... The first playthrough we had, and that was with the base game amount of genes, right? Is in fact this thing right here, the gene archive. Lots of far more gene packs to be stored in much smaller and secure space because this mod pack has like a thousand genes. Like an obscene amount of genes. And there goes the entire mushroom harvest on floors. You might think it's expensive, it's a little ridiculous, but it didn't really take us that long to grow the Nutrifungus, right? And yes, these floors are very, very expensive, but they are also very, very good. Five beauty a tile, pretty low work to build, pretty easy to make. You can make them out of totally renewable resources, we just grow more mushrooms. And it looks amazing, it's gonna keep everybody super, super happy. Like, look at this, extremely impressive workshop. The walls are made out of jelly, and we've got a few plant pots in there, two of which aren't even growing anything. Like, there's nothing else besides the floors really contributing any beauty bonus whatsoever. We've got the pillar in the middle. I mean, this is amazing. Oh, let's just gloss over the fact it's taken us, um... Four years. Mama, what are you doing here? Oh, you had the flu. Sorry, yes, this is the hospital. Carry on. No, my mistake, sir. The good news is Lynx finally has level... Oh, well, level 11 animals. About to say level 9 animals. That's the bare minimum to start training all of the Kwama. That's why I had Lynx out there taming all sorts of deer and, and wolves and boom rats and just whatever we could get to build that up. Now that we're there, we can really turn this into an army of Kwama. No longer... Am I going to have to just put them in a little tiny area to have them fight the enemies? It's going to be unstoppable. Especially now that I have a moisture pump. We can have some good research. Ooh. Medicine production is actually not bad. Sure. How are we doing though? Is everybody happy? Uh, colonist mood. E we've, we've declined a little bit, but to be fair, we've had a lot more tougher raids recently. Average mood has dropped fairly significantly. Kind of average 65%. Man, let's go back to here. It's only sensible that we would limit ourselves to the more insect technology, right? I've had them build a couple of jelly heaters here. And I've taken away all of the campfires, because, I mean, though they weren't fine, we're in we're insect time. This is full premium insect mode. If I can find anything to swap out, I think I might. Like the Mantodian art bench. Why not? It matches the aesthetic a lot better, huh? Like the Mantodian crafting bench, butcher tables, research tables. Let's just try and swap out most of it. Oh, chemical refinery. Is that like a... Uh, Biofuel refinery? Oh shit, I'll take one of those. Oh, that looks good. Hello. Yeah, it's just a biofuel refinery. Oh, amazing. And it can also smelt. Oh, it's like a smeltery and a refinery. Oh, sweet. Okay, well, you can go then, you industrial looking piece of shit. Ooh, what if we build the base out of bone mold? So I accidentally, oh, I'm going to have to admit to it, aren't I? Did accidentally leave bone mold on to make forever. So we just casually have 3,000 of that sitting around. Um, I had to suspend it so I could build the bone shelves. But we've got loads of that. 2,710. And how much do you need to make a brick? 
50 bomb mold makes 20 bricks. Oh. I mean, it makes sense. Grinding up bones and using them to line the walls of the hive. Yeah, I can, I can deal with that. Speaking of which, there's actually a Mantonian butcher table as well. So we'll get those swapped out. <laughs> All we need is a Mantonian. I mean, anybody can work them. Like I said, it would just be nice to actually get one into the colony. An actual insect person in the insect colony would be, uh, be a, a real change of pace. Oh, hang on. It doesn't have completely the same jobs. Create a heart from corpses. Sorry? No, doctor, but I presume medicine will be quite handy when we're grafting horrifying mutagens onto people. It's not like he can read my mind. What the hell are the words insectoid anatomy doing there? That sounds amazing. On, on the subject of uh, insectoid anatomy, say the line bar, I uh, added another mod. Someone on Discord linked me to a mod called Extended Bioengineering for VFE Insectoids. It allows you to craft the insectoid limbs from... Uh, VFE insectoids, funnily enough, gives you a bunch of lab equipment to experiment with. I imagine it would be quite overpowered normally, but we're insect people, so it just makes thematic sense. I presume it allows you to craft things like the uh, synaptic cerebellum manually, rather than having to do mutations. Insects can now wait from death rest safely. Oh, they all went into death rest, gotcha, because they're vampires and that's what they have to do. Um, I didn't realize they could just death rest in a bed, though. I thought they need a proper chamber, but I guess that makes a lot of sense. Why are we not taking their legs? What's going on here? Just, just, just finish, finish off with these legs. That's it. Come on, little vampire. Hand it over. We're not risking any more escape plans from you. This might also encourage Gloom to join us a little faster as well. <laughs> Horrible guy clad in mega spider remains comes in and pulls the leg off of a vampire. Yeah, I think I'd probably join them if they asked. Oops. Well, I mean, it's good experience, isn't it, for our new colony surgeon? A very good experience, in fact. Wow. And to be honest, I'd rather the surgeries fail catastrophically on the vampire prisoners than on our people when we come to installing mutagens. Bones is just here to watch. What have I done? This place is horrible. I guess we'll blast Gloom with the conversion ritual fast, given that I'd like a new... Okay, so still 18%. That's fine. That's the maximum we can get without, obviously, the additional participants. Come on, Gloom. Let's make this easy. So what happened to the vampires, Gloom? You wouldn't like that to happen to... 70%. Oh, I guess it works. Like the last person we were trying to recruit, this person we can actually lower the resistance on actively. Or we can actually try and convert them. Oh, God. Are you qualified to be doing this? <laughs> oh, my God. Sidonia. I mean, it's great medical tending experience. So I, I can't complain at all. Reached maximum learning for today. That's so funny. All you've done is failed an operation three times in a row. Let's get expertise. Oh, bugo drink, my friend. What can we give you? Either construction or cooking. Look at that. Uh, bio, please. Let's have a look here. Flooring repair and architecture. Building, bu butchering, drug cooking. Oh, I'm just about to... I'm just about to swap you away to our crafter. You know what? I might hold out. I might, I might not give him any expertise right now. Wait until he gets up to 15 crafting. Because if anything happens to Bugo Drink, this whole colony is in danger. From me. Said I was going to end this series when poor Warden died. When they were blown up by that explosive belt. Yeah, here we are still here. I'm not sure I can take another blow like poor Bugo Drink. Just go home. So I don't just go and lie down. Why are you here? You're ten oh, right, because I've just given you, uh, I gave, gave everybody doctoring an emergency, didn't I? Um, let's limit that just to Cydonia then, fine. Oh, that one was actually successful. Nine medical already. Wow, it's like Luxembourg. Uh, I don't even, I don't even care anymore. Who's Luxembourg? We haven't got to worry about that when we've got Cydonia Butcher of Vampires. My point, wait. 9.43, was I looking at the wrong person before? Or did you really gain that much experience? Nuts. Wow, I'm going to have you fail surgery more often. I'm just going to repeatedly queue up uh, stitching legs to them and pulling them off over and over and over. No way. My boys, they've returned to me in my hour of need. Oh, God, where have they spawned in? <gasps> oh, oh, come on. That couldn't be any more perfect. That could not be any more perfect. No bamboozle. This is, there is no bamboozle here. This is the best day of my goddamn life. I knew they wouldn't abandon me for long. Differences this time, though, they are still limited to three nests. Okay, that's it. They can't expand anymore, so I think they'll stay perfectly in this little cave that I dug. Obviously, I dug that strong at Mega Spiders so that we could make the armor. That ship has sailed, and instead we've got... We've got Kwama Town. Oh, this is so good. This has been so good. What an amazing day for the colony. The Kwama are back. We've got the start of the bioengineering program. Panoxacillin, I'm not really too fussed about. Let's keep training Cydonia up then, because we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, yeah, just, just, just give us your legs. Just keep giving us your legs. What about you then? So you're now completely legless. So you're fine. I'm going to wake you up. 
There you go. You can just lie there for a while. How are you doing? You're also legless, so I'm going to wake you up as well. Bog Goods Trader. I could do with a little steel. Actually, we're still kind of good on steel. We need gold to make some advanced components when we get up to that stage. And of course, a little plasteel too wouldn't hurt. Let's just see what they want to buy. Hello. How are you doing? A bee. A patron bee. Lo Oprah Londwood. <laughs> Hello. Who could forget dear Slongus Dongus? Hi there. What have you got for sale? My God, look at the leather we can sell. We're never going to use it. We're, we're, we're probably not going to use anything. I'll keep the heavy fur for now. Chitin will keep. That seems a fairly appropriate thing to be making insectoid stuff out. Have you got any steel? I'll take that. You got any... Uh, we're already buying their components. You got any plasteel? I was going to say, I'm quite surprised we even got a trade caravan, given that because our people are hideous bug people, nobody likes us. Like, like nobody actively likes us. The highest mood, the natural mood we'll get with people is, is zero. And most of them sit at minus 80. Buggo's building his crafting skill as well. There you go. You do have a passion there. 8.45. Won't take him long to catch back up. Although I think... Saying that, I think Luxembourg did have 15 crafting. Oh, you finally succeeded. Wow. You figured out how to cut a leg off after all this time. Well done. Oops. Not so good on the other one. I mean, there's no reason to ever... How the fuck are you moving? <gasps> That's not a leg at all. That's a shoulder. <laughs> fuck, we're doomed. <laughs> oh, no. Dr. B, take this person's legs. We come out with one leg, one shoulder. Brilliant. Um... You know what? Let's take the other one. We'll take the other one anyway. Vampires are such a perfect way to train up your doctor. They they can't die. No matter how much you mangle them, mess them up, take their organs, crush their heart, it doesn't matter. This is amazing. I might just keep one around permanently. As long as we've got the herbal medicine, we can just keep doing this over and over. I might make a dedicated herbal medicine freezer. Or, alternatively, I suppose we could just keep the herbal medicine in the, in the freezer. That's, that's a very big brain. <clears throat> Bugsy. Bugsy, don't panic. Where are you? Where is Bugsy? Oh, shit. Oh, you're fighting fire, you moron. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? Get. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> I don't want to look at Bugsy and thought, actually. Gee, I think I'm all right. I think I'm good. That's the reaction I was intending with Bugsy. Horrifying uh, injector bug queen. I mean, there's no point in waiting anymore. Let's get to work. Let's throw down our first gene extractor. We've got the power access, I presume? We're doing all right. We do have solar panels. I'd like to get some other type of power first. Oh, let's actually throw down that uh, advanced tox fire generator. 12 components, 600 steel. We've got more than enough components. And I think we've got enough steel really to justify it currently. And I know we don't have the toxic immunity yet, but the vampires have got it or our lizard people have it. So it should be it should be pretty straightforward to try and grab that. Let's keep it away or, or far enough away for the time being that we might not have to worry about poisoning our people before we've got the immunity. But the downside to the advanced toxifier generator well, besides the obvious, is that once it's polluted all the terrain, the generator will shut down. So we do need a way to remove the pollution, at least into uh, move it somewhere else. Build some, we could always just build some pumps, carry them out, dump it in a world tile where it's, it's not our problem at all. That would work, or just build drop pods or something to that effect. Infinite with a little management, basically, but I'm all about that. How much energy do they generate? I, I actually didn't check. Five components, 600 steel. I imagine it's pretty close to a... Uh, it's probably going to be worse than a geothermal generator because you can place it anywhere. Uh, 7,000 watts. Fuck me. Wow. I suppose there is a fair uh, argument that this one does cause horrible carcinomas, which is uh, it's an interesting way to balance it for sure. Now, now we can start on the all-important bug-based work. You know, bugs in nature do this all the time. It's fully above board. I'm going to limit it to just two to start off with. And then we'll get these vampires stripped for parts. And we'll also go for our insectoid colonists as well. Both links and bones. It's good to be their weapons were blocking there now. I'm sorry, that was probably horribly annoying. All right, let's throw down a couple of lamps in there too. Because, this may surprise you, I love lamp. And then let's get them blasted in there. Little Pex, little Keegan. We'll keep Gage for uh, Sidonia's test subject, I suppose. Yes, hand over your vampiric genetics so we can extract any... Xenogenes or germline genes at all. Tox immunity would really be at the most insect specific one. Tox immunity and cold slowdown, of course, are base game insect specials. A lot of people are suggesting that pyrophobia will work well for insects, uh, particularly given that we are moth-like right now, and I do kind of agree. That'll be a nice way to add some um, so, some efficiency back to the 
the genes. Get those negative points in there so that we can add some more negatives and try and balance it out without eating an obscene amount of food, like a ridiculous amount. We're going to harvest legs. We're going to install legs. We're going to remove legs and put some new legs on there. It's going to look like an Elder Ring boss by the time I'm done with you, Gage. Honey, wake up. It's time for your 1 a.m. leg transplant. Okay, careful. Let's get a little bit of that medical skill building up there. Nice. Medical level 10. Not so nice for Gage. I don't even maybe taking the channel record for <laughs> Most failed surgeries. Damn, the experience is enormous. Already 10.35. These vampires are broken. All you need is one in your prison. You can just go butt wild with it. I'm going to put a new leg on and then take another leg off. Tinder skin. What is Tinder skin? Oh, is that, uh, that's effectively like uh, like flammable, right? Um, Tinder skin is dry skin that easily burns while on fire. Their immune system reacts very poorly to this kind of threat. Damage from fire is multiplied by four. Again, does kind of make sense with, with moths. They are very flammable, very dusty. We'll just collectively agree to ignore the, the surgery failures from now on. That's going to be a very consistent thing. Uh, let's load in the next person, please. Keegan, get in there. Why are you not automatically loading them in? What does that count as? What job type is that? Load? I presume it's got to be load. Noxicillion, show me multi-analyzers for that brainwashing chair. Neuro supercharge. Oh, that's... Oh, that's interesting. I, I don't think we can actually build them because we don't have the right ID religion. Um, hello. Oh my god, that's going to be a lot of insects. Are these the ones that pop out instantly? Not until we bother them? That's okay. Amazing. It's like a Coolidge painting. I haven't checked the social tab in, in a very long time. I was kind of interested to see if everybody gets along here. And in fact, yeah, they, they really do. Mixed bag, but nobody seems to hate one another. And we got a lot of friends going on too. Links? Friends, acquaintances, no rivals at all. That's so rare. I guess it's because the, the the hive mind aspect of things. Everybody's in a pretty decent mood all the time. This is nice. Sidonia is friends with bloody everyone. Oh, Mandy. Sweet Mandy, how I'd forgotten about you. Oh, what did we get? Oh, we got blood feeder. Interesting. Again, very appropriate for insects. We can make little mosquito people. That's fine. What's going on with that? Gage's genes seem to be stuck. Regrowing? This happened before, do you remember? 26.5 days. I haven't loaded them into the machine because when you do that, it's only like 13 days. For whatever reason, they're just permanently stuck like this. Stupid them being a vampire furry. So much it's off the screen. Oh, how could I forget? We have the auto extract gene mod. We can just enable this one here so they'll extract genes that are gene extracted whenever it's safe to do so. So in 12.8 days, they'll just automatically shut them back in again. Sure, I guess we'll queue up everybody. Uh, we don't need Gloom. Of course, we've got Gloom's genes. I will also do that with the lizards in the colony event. We don't have anybody else worth grabbing anything from. What have you got? I mean, strong immunity would be incredible. Sure, let's go for it. Why not? Put you on the list. Uh, Sidonia is a baseliner. So is Buggo. So is Bug Z. Uh, Zolob doesn't count as having any special xenotypes because they're, they're not a human. They're an alien. Big old wasp. This is so bizarre, but this is absolutely... Everything on the screen right now is exactly what I envisioned when I threw this mod pack together. <gasps> Tox resistance, cold weakness. And then the other one was moth wings, which I'll be honest, I'm not super fussed about that one. Not really so necessary that we need moth wings. And then just climbing automatically. Damn, that's good. Okay, tox resistant is very nice. I would like total tox immunity, but it's actually not that bad. It's only minus one metabolic efficiency with that combo. Cold weakness kind of sucks, but it's it's not terrible. I mean, they, they just have a minimum comfortable temperature five degrees higher. That's not really a problem. And insects in the base game do go into hypothermic slowdown. So thematically, it's it's bloody perfect, right? Let's throw down the gene assembler. I'll slap it back there. That's okay. Kind of works. Let's pop down some hospital beds as well. We can afford a couple. I don't want to go too overboard because we're probably not going to need it that desperately. <laughs> it makes me so alert every bloody time. Failed catastrophically. How can you still be this bad? 11.36 medical up from uh, less than 8 the when we started today. That's so good. And that's with minus 50% because you're a dunce. Oh, God. You are, aren't you? Holy shit. Hello? Actual people. Actual, killable, capturable, gene strippable people. I've never been happier. We haven't really got anywhere to fight anyone anymore, though. I bricked over this so that we could build more... We could build more Nutrifungus. Let's pop the door open. And hopefully that'll be enough to... We'll just bake them around the corner and then slice them to bits with the sides, right? And we have a load of trained attack animals now. We're pretty we're pretty handy on that front. Lynx has knocked it out of the park. Where are you going? What the, what, what the hell are you doing? 
Okay, take some pot shots, I suppose. Come on. I have a plan. <laughs> I have a very good plan, I think. Wake up. Right, there you go. Problem solved. Ah, oh, yes. You've got to weaponize some bugs occasionally, haven't you? What are they here for? You're going to prepare for a while before they attack. Yeah, about that. Enjoy my bug friends. The only problem is now we do have to deal with a whole lot of very angry bugs. So I feel like this isn't much of an improvement, to be honest with you. Hey, come back, fight these damn insects. Wow, that is a lot of angry bugs. Look at the minimap. How are we expected to deal with that? That's an enormous amount of enemies. Oh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let the Kwama, how, how, how about the Kwama? Let's get you lot stepping forward with your scythes. Let's not go too far, but we can we can do something with this. We can do something with this. Let me just keep those, keep them under lock and key. Let's send in the attack animals. And between this group, we might be able to shred a lot of them. Just got to bear in mind, there are still raiders out there too, though. So let's not get too carried away. Okay, bring, bring them back. And let's call the animals back too. They're all spread out quite a lot. Actually, this is working all right. This isn't terrible. Yeah, don't go, don't go too far. Don't go too far. We just gotta keep, we just gotta keep leeching over like small amounts. Oh shit! Oh, that's quite a lot. So much for small amounts. Get in there. We might have to recoup in a second. Oh, Karma Warrior Two, my boy. We might have to recoup and just patch ourselves up in a moment. Hopefully, the raiders will come back around the corner and, and fight the rest. This is going fine, actually. This is this is all right. This is all right. Search and destroy. Search and destroy. Unleash the animals again. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, right, now that's good enough. We pushed them all the way back over to over to these couple of nests, so I think now we'll just run away. And not not run away, but like oh tactical retreat. Moth, 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 moth. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta we gotta patch our people up. We gotta patch our people up. You can kill a couple more. You can kill a couple more, but don't go nuts with it. Oh, their moods are gonna be annihilated after this. Every bloody insect raid is going to knock our people. That's probably why the mood's been fluctuating so much in hindsight, because we're having to fight so many insects. Come back here. Okay, the moth is getting annihilated. And the people fleeing ran right into us. We've got to patch up our moth in a second. What have you got? Uh, they are imps, so I don't think they're particularly useful, given that we're going to probably probably rely on fire. Fire vulnerability is one of the things to balance out the complexity here. Uh I don't really want any of this. Very fast runner would be amazing. We desperately need tending. I mean, Zunlob needs tending right now. Let's get you patching up Zunlob right here. Oh, we're going to have to push forward. Have to push forward. Only like scarabs now though, right? Yeah, there's a few spellipedes and a few mega spiders. The ships don't repopulate, do they? No. So when we've dealt with the insects, that's it. It's, it's, it's basically done. How did you sneak past? <laughs> I love the fact they're all fleeing too. That's so weird. That's strange. Push up, keep a strong defense with Bugsy in the middle. Bugsy can bait them over and then they can walk into the meat grinder. There you go, there you go, there you go. Uh, we might as well send the animals in again. If I could find the button. If I could, oh, Lynx is down. Oh, Lynx. Almost done, almost done, almost done. I did set some tending on the uh, the two people that were downed, but we got kind of swarmed by one or two or 45 mega scarabs. So it was a little bit complicated. How are we looking? What a showdown though, huh? This has been great. Uh, Lynx is gonna be all right. You can start tending Martin in a second. Yeah, Lynx is fine. Let's get you tending to Martin. Just some battlefield triage. I click on the right person with this pile of corpses. Yeah, Buggards get Lynx out of there. And then the final few that are still up on their feet. Let's go clap these last raiders. Oh, Bones is down. But he got 10 hours. All right, you stay behind. You tend Bones. Bugsy can deal with it. Bugsy can lead the charge. You little shit. You stay away from those. Brilliant. I don't know what she was firing then. It's like they got spines or something. But they, 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 they have some sort of ranged weapon. I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Oh, is that it? Are we done? Uh, nope. There's definitely someone fighting someone somewhere. Oh, it's Bones. Oh, shit. Come back. Oh, my God. Is that it? Holy crap. <laughs> we took an absolute battering. Oh, you didn't lose anything, though. How's everybody looking? Links, two conditions, need tending. Is anyone going to bleed out? Bleeding out in six hours with Martin. Martin, you've been an absolute trooper. Sidonia needs help too. So you rescue uh, you rescue Sidonia. Martin, get yourself back. Uh, you know when I said, oh, we'll only need two hospital beds. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Everybody's got to go on doctoring. Otherwise, we're going to get destroyed here. I think we're fine. I think we're going to lose anybody. What about the angel moth? That was a... Ah, oh, Buggo's on it. Buggo, you've read my mind. They got a little moth. You're fine. Either they're tending the Kwama rather than, I don't know, say Bones, who's basically on her deathbed right now. That's all right. And one infection. Oh, it's not really much of a surprise, is it? Okay. Uh, who's our best doctor? 
Oh, God, yeah, about that. It's Bugsy. <laughs> oh, no. Go fast. Here. Uh, give it your head. Can you walk? You can't walk. Oh, you can't walk either. All right. Uh, you're being ejected. Sorry. There you go. That's looking a lot better. The infection's outpacing the... Sorry, the immunity's outpacing the infection massively. Oh, it's always fun. I love it when we fight enormous raids back to back. It was me worried we'd make a little bit too much progress today while we started to get out all these gene packs. But there we have it. The gene assembler is basically ready to go. All we've got to do is actually... Actually load them into the... Where are they putting them? What the hell are you... What the hell are you doing? Why are you putting them there and not in the gene banks? What the hell's wrong with you? Are you joking? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, thank you for that. We kill one group and now we've got to deal with a whole bunch more. Well, that was a little dangerous, hey, Lynx? What was that? 90... It was high. It was high. That's the important part. Uh, 90... Uh, 98%. I play a dangerous game. You know, I could spend these resources on building more hospital beds, which, um... I may. I may have been convinced. That's none, none of your business. I think everybody, more or less at this stage, is good as new without having to sacrifice anything. You've lost a wing, which of course was a while ago. You've lost a lung, which we'll try and fix. You've lost a leg, okay. Might, might have overstated it a tad bit when I said everybody's good as new. And the best part is tomorrow we get to do it all again. Hey, you know what? Thanks for joining me today. Today was great for progress. Getting all the biotech stuff set up and actually starting to extract the genes is obviously amazing. Doing a little more research to get that going quite as intended, I think. And it's going to be a long time to actually build and combine the genotypes that we need and apply it to everybody. But this is, this is the beginning of something great. This is the beginning of something incredible. If you've got any suggestions, of course, for kind of uh, xenotypes to design, what nice combos we could go for. I, ideally, we need like warriors and then workers and things like that. A nice royalty gene would be good for Bugsy and Buggo. I'm all ears. Thank you, of course, as always, to the patrons who allow me to deal with all the real-life crap that I'm dealing with and also not have to worry too much about my YouTube channel falling into nothingness. Thank you to Cal345, Sir Royland, Tragen, Bobcar, Chicken Robo, Sherlock, Ian McComb, Tap Scott, V Frostbane, Aaron W Zero, Jonathan Cameron, Cheese King Twenty One, Sam, Gigi, CS Grebo, Holy Reapers, Chris, Aronidas, Wookie Overlord, Dranmir, Perplexing Porpoise, Scott Layton, Dagon, Rixo, Grim, Deathcore Hippie, and Zomred. Comrade Zandy Candy as well. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. Much appreciated. And a thank you as well to Lancer, Kexoli, Rated R, Jason Ganser, Tasseluk P, Jacob Atkinson, Andre Philippe, Joe Herman Horgholt, Elizabeth Legros, November, Justin Rules, Juniper Flavored Soda, Maxel, Mag, Maxoplo, I Demar, Jelly Hayek, Jenny, Brian Watkins, Ace of Hearts, Jose Asala, Morgan Little, Simon Olivier Brisson, Ugami, Michael Scott, Hayden Gray, Blue Dragon, and Mystic 370 as well. Thank you. Join me tomorrow. We've got some bugs. We're going to do some more bug stuff. Isn't that, isn't that novel?